are talking to the automated. Got something to say, pilot? I've been approached by a representative of Duke's Buccaneers who is offering protection. Oh, we've seen this one before. For our convoys traveling through certain areas at a cost of 1.7 million. Uh, making any deals with pirates is really a good idea, but refusing them could be costly. Uh, we're refusing that protection. And we'll wait for it to come. Oh, wait, my, um, didn't record the visual on that. Oh, well, I'll fix that. Um, well, I'm not gonna fix that, but next thing we'll have vis video. So. It appears that Dukes didn't like being turned down. They hit us hard, we lost an entire convoy, and subsequently the contract due to non-delivery. Thankfully, that was the only convoy we had operating in that area at the time, but we will definitely need some form of protection if we need to run convoys there in the future. That was a risk we took, and well, that was the outcome. The workers at our shield protection facility, one gigajoule, has gone out on strike, demanding more pay and shorter hours. I'm going to need some help to settle the dispute. To pay the workers what we want. We can't afford for this factory to be offline at the moment. However, there is a chance that our staff at the other factories will see as an easy option for a pay raise. Um, ex uh, off, uh, offer compromise, explain to them that we can't afford pay rises at the moment, but offer them profit-based bonuses. Although we can end up paying them more in the long run, the extra profit will offset the payment. I still like the offer compromise thing. It's the best option there. I, I personally feel it's the best option. Uh, I have a funny feeling the answers are randomized without being properly weighted. So, um, yeah, I'm going to... Uh, that's going to be that. I'll wait for the outcome. Whoop! Victory! Well, that went down well. The strike has been called off, and already there's an improvement in productivity. Awesome. I like it when things work out like that. Alright everyone, time to start the video properly now. I'm Afro Luigi. welcome back to X3 Albion Prelude, and I have all the resources we need for to continue on the uh, shady business story. But before we do that, let us you talk to, um, to Nijima again. To yes, I need some help to work out the best way to solve a problem. Uh, do 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 do. Oh boy. Um, anyway, so at present we rely mainly on word of mouth from our current customers to generate new business. If we want to get more customers, advertising might be an idea. Should we increase our budget for advertising? So advertising is the best thing we can do to make your, your company better known around the universe. Started a big campaign with billboards and commercials will cost us 3.1 million credits, but the long-term benefits and increased business and reputation should outweigh this cost. Adver or we can test the waters. Advertising is necessary, but we cannot afford a big campaign right now. One million credits will get us a few radio commercials and news service ads that will get our name out there. It'll give us an idea of what forms of advertising will work best for us, or we do nothing and we don't have the money to spare for an advertisement campaign right now. We'll have to rely on our existing customers spreading the word for us. We can always look for starting a campaign later when money isn't so tight. Test the waters. Anyways, let us jump down to, um, what's the planet, what's the system called? Ah, Lost Order. Jump Clear the uh, gate of hostiles, and um, then bring in the transport. 30. 40, 50 percent, 60, 70, 80, 90, jumping. Entering system. Oh, boy. Lost order. Pirate Barracuda Raider Pirate Buster Are they coming out of the jump gate right now? Yep, we got fresh enemies coming out of the jump gate. This is gonna be a pain of an episode. Uh, pain of a fight. Oh. Missile defenses are on. Probably could have finished off that buster. Oh, this. Let's actually finish it off. There we go. Uh, let's go after that M3. Oh boy, one of them has the um, flamer weapons. I uh, don't want to disable the HUD. Uh, jump just out.
Did we get out before our shields dropped is the key question there. Entering yep, but we need to get out of here again. Jump device charging at 10%. 20. Let's just turn around and try to get out of here. 40. 50%. 60. Alright, so that was a non-starter. Entering system. Grand exchange. All right, let's try this. Um, let's just get close to the uh, solar power plants this time, and we will get re we'll quickly refuel while we wait for things to clear out by that jump gate. Mm. Entering system, grand exchange. And which which solar power plant's closest? That one. Login granted. Autopilot activated. This will also give our shields a chance to recharge, and we'll go in again and try and do it. 50%, 55%. I think our shields will be basically fully charged by the time we dock with the solar power plant, which will be perfect timing. Because we're already at 90%, and there we go, 90%, and we're about, we were about six kilometers out, so. Yeah, I want to grab energy cells just so I don't end up stranded and die. Successfully docked. On behalf of Chairman. And connection to local trading network established. Jump device charging at 10%. 20. 30. Now let's see if luck is on our side this time. Because yeah, that was not entering system lost order. It is not on our side, but better. Pirate Mamba Sentinel. Let's see if we can clear out all these M3s. I will you. <laughs> pirate, pirate, Barracuda, Raider. We can take out all these M3s. That that'll take care of our issue. Let's go with the Nova. Nova's closer. Is the issue I'm having is the flamethrower type weapon. That's what's killing me. Target is now in firing. See what I mean? That's the weapon I'm worried about. Oh, there's another ship that has that weapon. Yep. Oh, the friendly fire seems to seems to have helped us there. Oh, all three of them have. Oh, and an F. Frick. Come on, jump drive, get me out of here. Yes! Now did our shields hold up? Now did our shields hold out? No, oh, we jumped into Zenon space, of course. Our shields did not hold out. It's going to be a while before I can get into that system because ships keep either. I need to wait either for ships to leave or I need to uh, do hit and run tactics to clear them out. Actually, no, this time let's go to the shipyard. We're going to repair that 2% hull. And that, our shields, well, yeah.
I really don't like those weapons. Like, sure, they're powerful, awesome weapon. It just, I feel they're overused. Incoming message. Uh, our small advertising campaign is showing some returns on the investment. Nothing as grand as a full-blown campaign would, but we can always increase the budget when finances allow. Successfully docked. Connection to local trading network established. Jumped now, how's our rep doing? Oh, we're 33%. We actually lost some off from those 30, last few. 40. Come on, very few enemies, very few enemies, very few enemies. Or no or no enemies, that's even better, but I'm just going for only a few. Entering system that's not only a few. Order. That's not a few. <sighs> Entering system, mercenaries with. Let's wait here and see what happens. And these guys are going right for me. Now, maybe that thing jumped out or maybe it despawned. I doubt it though. I might have to cut out and cut back. Entering system. Lost. Order. Because there's no way I'd be able to blitz my ship's pass to the TL at all. Although, the TL does seem to... is probably invulnerable. So it's actually probably a good place to fight. Split elephant. Pirate buzzard. Split elephant. Although it doesn't look like the split elephant has any defensive weapons. Oh, it has missiles. It has iron shard rail guns and mass drivers, so yeah, it can actually fight. So if we take out the fighters, it can go after the M7. Falcon. Target is now in firing range. See, they should have put this ship in an unclaimed sector, not a pirate sector. And it's focusing entirely on me. For now it is, at least. Alright, maybe now we can actually fight this. Pirate Blast Claw. Pirate Blast Claw. Okay, we'll go after the M3s. Clear out the M3s and then try going for the Karak. We may have to jump to the gate now and then. 
But we have a strategy now. Target is now in fire range. Right, that's one M3 down. Yeah, I'm just gonna try and ram straight into it if I can. Oh yeah, nice job turret. Oh, that Kestrel is still incredibly quick on it compared to us. And... Wow. And let's try this again. Target is now in fire. Well, <laughs> at least it's that reduces speed by half. That's good. Oh, come on, Kestrel. Just die. All right, that's done. Let's go for that Carrick now. Rapier missile. Oh boy. Target is now in firing range. Let's see if we can get out of the range of that turret. Oh, we're getting range of a different turret instead. It's better. Come on, Karak. Just die already. Oh, it's time to fall back, I think. Uh, we're getting too close. And I want to let my shields charge up a little. Whoa! Almost didn't see those. Left firing range. All right. Let's go in again for phase two. TL is managed to actually draw its main attention of its main guns at least. Target is now in firing range. This has been a very, very complicated goods delivery mission.
And that'll be it. Karak is... Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and boom. All right. And another pirate Karak. Pirate Karak. And yeah, it's coming for us. How's the split elephant doing for weapons? Oh, it's still it's got its iron shard rail guns, so. Is it targeting? It's targeting the uh, split TL. Perfect. I do miss the ability to cripple ships from X, re X Rebirth. And X4, of course. Time to uh, move out of range because our shields are low. It's actually only got iron shard rail guns on it. And the mass drivers, I guess, are either destroyed or it's just cargo it's storing. Yeah, it's just mass just cargo. Beluga missile. Alright, shields are at half again, so let's go back at that Karak. Pirate Karak. Wait, is it targeting me? It's targeting me. Oh boy. This is going to be an interesting fight. Let's try and stay under it, I think. I think under it's the best place to be. Target is now in firing range. Where's the TL? The TL's over there. Let's send it towards the TL. Target left range. Oh, almost collided with the rear of the TL. That would not have been good. Alright, now they're at the Carrick is now down to 73%. 
we still only have the one Karak, the other pirate vessels are not trying to engage us. Alright, I think we're almost ready to take out the TL now. Not the TL, the Karak. I was kind of nervous when the weapons went above and below me. Come on, TL, keep its shields down. I might be able to finish it off this swing by. Come on, DL, finish off that pirate Karak for me. Down to 34%. Do I want to risk going in again? Let's wait. Uh, let's go in again. Try and clear some. Still too many guys near that gate. Are they just leaving though is the question. If they're just leaving, I'll let them. Oh, some are arriving. Okay, that guy is definitely not leaving. Pirate, Harrier, Pirate, Skate. Target is now in fire range. Oh boy, uh, that's a lot of fighters coming in all of a sudden. What is failing? Cargo bay now contains wildfire missile. This whole episode is just going to be clearing out this system of pirates in preparation to get my transport ship in. I really hope the um, the split sign, the split lady appreciates all the um, lives being lost trying to get her much supplies. Target is now in firing range. And I am already. My shields are already gone, aren't they? Yeah, and my hull's gone. And I'm dead. Alright, I'm going to have to try this again in the next episode. So I will see you guys then. Because, yeah, I'll see you guys then.
Alright everyone, welcome back to X3 Albion Prelude. I am Afroluigi and we've got another and we're gonna like normal we're starting off with like one of one of these. So Companies of the Universe. A journalist of the famous business magazine, Companies of the Universe has contacted us. They want to write an article about us for their next issue. This would mean a visit to some of our factories. What should we do? The magazine article would be free advertising for us as long as we're shown in a good light. There is a chance, however, that our competitors may benefit from seeing our internal processes. And allowing a journalist or for Ed, yeah. yeah, and that's the opposite, right? It would allow us to turn up some of our more dubious cutting cost practices. I have to hope they don't publish a bad article. Let's allow them. We've got nothing to hide, I hope. Anyways, we're going to try um, going back to Lost Light or Lost Order again. I let it sit for a few minutes. Jump aborted. Oops. I let it sit for a little, so hopefully it's cleared out a little. We're about to find out. System. What's Lost the? Oh, the, that's better. Pirate Harrier, Pirate Falcon, Fang Pirate, No Pirate Nova, Pirate Falcon Vanguard. All right, let's um clear the way. Pirate Nova. We're gonna get nice and close to that Pirate Nova actually before we open fire. Before we aggro them, let's try and kill one of them. That should be good enough. Okay, I see which one I want to kill next. That guy has an incendiary bomb. Has one of those flamethrower weapons. I'm pretty sure it's an incendiary bomb launcher. Oh crap, they both have them. A plus side. This guy can't bring us bring it to bear. Someone just rammed into us, I think. Come on. Pirate Falcon Vanguard. That did it. Cargo Bay now contains Windstalker missile. Command accepted. Now we wait. All right, Baldrick's arrived. The Duke's material transporter there. That should be fine. Baldrick. Split elephant. I was not have a singularity engine time accelerator. I guess not. So we're just gonna have to crawl our way there, and then we can just switch back to the katana. Command accepted. Because this thing has everything we need. It has a computer component, it has the crystals, and it has quantum tubes. Okay. So we should just be able to finish this mission right away. Where 5.4 kilometers, 0 0.3, 0 0.2, 0 0.1, 5. And any second now, we should be in range of the transporter device. Oh, we have, do we have to get another three and a half kilometers? Oh, there it goes. We confirm the shipment has received. I require a freighter pilot. A good one. Incoming message. Oh, God. You know what? 
I'm going to tack this onto the end of the last episode while I gather even more materials for these guys. We're going to have to do three of these, aren't we? One for each scientist. Yeah, we're going to have to do um, one of each. Incoming message. Command accepted. Strong arms will assist you with collecting Terran allies. Strong arms deal with dark space pirates. Getting EMP rifles can get hull plating as well. I don't really need the help because I am Terran. So, no. Oh boy. I'll see you guys. This is in the next episode properly this time. Bye.